Look at this. My good friend, Kurt Rogers from Think Tank. You guys make some of the greatest camera cases and bags in the world. And we've got a world exclusive on this groundbreaking production. Kurt, first of all, great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Michael. It's such a great time to be with you. Every time I get together with you, we have such a good time here. Do you remember when I uh, unpacked my shapeshifter at NAB? I do. In fact, you know, you should unpack your shapeshifter at NAB, and I thought it was just like being at the circus watching clowns come out of a Volkswagen. I stuffed a lot of gear in there, did I not? <laughs> and I think you probably have got the record for it. Thank you very much. By the way, thank you for welcoming me to your fine state here of California. I want you to come to California. You come to the governor's mansion in, in Sacramento. How do you spell Sacramento? Maria, where's the housekeeper? S-A-C, uh, Maria. Okay. Uh, thank you for welcoming me to the great state of California. I love the beautiful sunny weather here. It is scorching hot. I have to wear this hat because... Um, Look at that, no hair anymore, and I can't get sunburned. It would hurt. You are in the shade, though. You're always made in the shade. You're, this I, guy, is you, you've got it always. I, you're too kind. <laughs> you know my yeah, wife. You absolutely. haven't met my son, Jack, yet. You've no. met, you met him when he was in the belly, yep. but you know my wife. Absolutely, yep. Your wife's, you know, hanging out. I hope she's watching today. She, she is, and so is Jack. Yeah, oh, well, Jack, you know, he'll never remember it, but that's probably better for him. Have we stalled long enough before this world exclusive built up? Yeah. Okay, we need to get that wireless camera over here so people can see it. Um, so let's see if we can get uh, this wireless camera. Hold on. Uh, um, we're going to do this in a second. But what I want to tell you, Kurt, is I want to just give a shout-out to your wife, Deanne, who came on before. She's so awesome and was amazing and really shared some great stories of really what she does. Here's the wireless camera. We've got to transmit this, this little thing here. So you guys have got to shoot it. We've got the kids from Hollywood High School learning and doing uh, great stuff here. Look at this. People are trying to buy our whole setup, our rig, right off of what we're doing. Look, they're, they're checking it out. This is amazing. We're doing live video, and this guy's trying to buy it um, as we're doing. It's cool. No, no. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna have to go a little higher. He wants to spend twenty nine ninety five on a on a on a padcaster. I think we're gonna go a little higher, but we will have an exclusive debut of a padcaster that might be in that price range later. If you want to stick around, okay. Let's get. It's I'm wild here. Your wife was awesome for coming on. I didn't forget my train of thought. You probably did, but your wife was awesome. So th thank you. I'm glad you had my wife on. We were trying to find her for that half an hour you had her on. Probably the one of the longest things you did all day, right? Yeah, we had a lot of fun, and I think the viewers got a lot of great information from a really great photographer. You two are a great photographer. You guys are co-founders. of of Think Tank Photo. Check this out, folks. A world exclusive. It's called the Roller Derby. This is called the Roller Derby. Love the name. You know what I love about this? Who told you to make this bag? Who told you? You've been beating on us and beating on us for years about a bag like this. We had a bag like this, and it just wasn't per quite perfect, and we uh, redesigned to me, it for you. You said to me, oh, we've got one with four wheels. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 you don't. Make the airport V2 with four wheels. And what have you gone out and done? We've made it with eight wheels. You've made it with eight wheels. And by the way, I think you should call it not the roller derby, but the artsis or the be terrific. <laughs> but, Perfect. But I like the roller derby. Okay, yeah. look at this. This is the airport, right? It's got much more features, though. First of all, let's start. Look at this. Through an airport like this. Oh, my God. It fits in the carry-on. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial, but this deserves it. Okay. It's got a spot for a lock. It's got the handle right here, but you know this think tank handle. It's really sturdy. It gets better. It gets better. This will hold your iPad and your laptop, or what I like to prefer is your iPad mini and your bridge with your iPad Air or iPad on it. You've got, look at all of this room, huge. I think this might be the biggest interior you've ever had. All these pockets and then, dun, 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 look at that. Your bridge can go right here or your laptop with your iPad. Then you can put your iPad or iPad mini right there. So that's your extra iPad when you're going and shooting stuff with your iPad. We have dedicated devices, believe it or not, just to shoot on. How Absolutely. awesome is this bag? And yeah. here's the best part. You know what Kurt told me right before we went on air? It is shipping this week. This is the roller derby. You can get it this week right on thinktankphoto.com. Or you can go to Adorama. In the, in the New York City area, go to the Adorama Superstore or go to Adorama.com and get the roller derby. Can I give you my credit card right now? I do. I want to take this home, this one. I'll, this. Take, I'll take your credit card anytime. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to come over to your booth. We can't do it on air, but I'm going to do it, and I'm gonna take the, I want to take this home. Is that okay? 
Can I take this one home? We'll see. Uh, this is... I am so excited about this. This, And we need more stuff because we've accumulated more gear on our trip. I need to take this home to get my gear home. I think you need a lot bigger bag. We've got a couple that, are, that I think will fit most of your gear. Josh Apter has one of those bags that will fit most of our gear. And I said I need one as well. So can I, I'm going to come by the booth. I'm going to take this and one of those. And I, Because also, I want to be, this is, nobody's seen this bag yet. This is an exclusive. You guys are seeing it for the first time. This is the first one out. I want this one. I don't want anybody to have this but me. And, and I love that. Yeah, you know, I mean, if we numbered them, I think this would be number one. Number one. I okay. I'm I'm not letting you take this back with you. It's going with me for sure. And I'm gonna. So then you can fit a tripod on the side. Is Absolutely, that what you? Absolutely. Yeah, tripod and it's got tripod straps. Everything we make comes with rain cover. It's uh, got handles on the front, the top, the sides, and the bottom. So if you if you throw it in the overhead and its uh, wheels are out, you still got a strap there to pull that thing out with. Look at this durable strap uh, handle you have on each side. And I love you always have the business card holder. Business card, zippers, and uh, all the hardware. Uh, does, Doug, does Doug's card still come in here so I can call him up? Probably, yeah. 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 D that's awesome. You guys have... Give him a call. You should, yes. You should call Doug. And look, that's how this bag got made. I just pounded on these guys and said, make this bag. You know, I love it. I think you did a fabulous job. Uh, you know, you guys have a great company. Um, and I love the story. You guys basically were photographers. You said, we can make better bags. Let's go make better bags. Yeah, we, we wanted to make a better bag. We think about all kinds of things. I mean, even we've got... We didn't put locks on the bag, but you can lock the zippers together just so, uh, and then you can lock the bag to your uh, toilet in your in your hotel room if you need to because uh, nobody's stealing the toilet. Oh yeah, and well, you know, you hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's so thickly padded, it's so protective for the gear, which is most important, and it's so modular. It is modular, and the fact that you know you can rearrange the bag to fit pretty much any kind of you're running uh, like cine cameras, or uh, if you're a still photographer. Uh, you know, 7200 fits the 402A will fit in there with a the hood. And you cannot beat these bags up. You cannot destroy them. The airplanes cannot destroy them. I've had every other suitcase in the world gets destroyed on the airplane, not this stuff. It's pretty good. I'm, I've traveled all over the place, and I still am running the version ones on a lot of bags. And people look at me and go, Don't, aren't you going to upgrade? And I'm like, no, nah, I want to really try to wear this thing out. You know, it's amazing that I've only had to call customer service once in all the years I've used this stuff. Only once. And it was because a wheel got broken. And you know what? I called and I said, how do I buy a new wheel? And they said, we'll send you one for free. And they answered the phone. And they answered the phone. Yeah. Like real people. That's great. You guys are awesome. You've got Brian. You've got Doug. You've got all these great people. Don't forget about Chris. Chris is awesome. Chris is awesome. It's a great we've got a whole We've got a whole bunch of people. In fact, a lot of people are designers that work behind the scenes and never get really the, you know, the accreditation that you should. They are the ones that actually, Mike Sturm, who's, you know, really uh, one of the lead people to, you know, figure this thing out. Um, they're all back there, uh, you know, working every day and trying to make these things just fly. Three eighty nine for this bag. Three eighty nine seventy five. Three eighty nine seventy five. That's a weird price. I know. Well, I don't know where they come up to seventy five, but I think it'll be available and shipping on uh, the sixteenth of the month here. Excellent. So get ready to place your orders and. Talk me through some of the other products, especially the bigger bags, because I think as people get bigger and bigger gear and they have to travel with it, they want the bigger bags too. Yeah, we have a logistics manager, which is a pretty big bag. Um, it's uh, you know it's kind of teetering on the size, uh, pretty large for car you can't carry it on, but you know still shipping on airplanes. It's uh, it's right there. Um, you know you don't have to pay the over extra charges on that, so you know you can still throw it on an airplane with you and. Uh, and it's padded enough. It's not. It's not like a uh, a hard case. So it still has that flexibility, but it still is flyable. Um, you know, the airport security, the airport international. We have a bag you know, called the uh, airport takeoff, which basically turns into a uh, backpack, and it has rollers. So if you, you know, if you're shooting in uh, in uh, you know Paris or something, and you have to walk down all those stairs to the subway, it's a great just to run your back, run down those stairs. It's, you know, it works out really good. Really heavy duty zippers, great construction, very comfortable, great bags, great protection. Think tank photo. Kurt, I asked Deanne this. What is the craziest shoot you've ever been on? Um, I guess the, there's a various amount of crazy, but uh, well, I guess dangerous and crazy all at once was the uh, the Valdez in uh, Alaska when that went down. We almost went down in a helicopter where we had a little uh, sea otter get out while we were flying along. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Pretty insane. And then uh, what about uh, your favorite photo you've ever taken? 
Favorite photo? That's really hard because um, you know, I uh, I change. You know, I I I it's so I don't, any, I don't have any tattoos, <laughs> so I can't even uh, put a picture on the wall and decide that I like it for like a week or not. So I uh, I today um, that's a picture of you and I when we uh, did the selfie out front. I love that. That's a great picture. It's going on this Instacube that we got running. It's going on that on the hashtag Be Terrific TV stage. Um, now. What about the favorite, most favorite picture you've ever seen from somebody else? You know, I, I love uh, pictures and they change all the time. Uh, um, you know, uh, Simon Broody is a really great photographer. I love his sports. There's, uh, we do a thing about, uh, called about a photograph on uh, Think Tank Photo. And uh, I take famous pictures that people are really interesting and do an interview with them and run them for about 90 seconds. And it's all about just the photograph. And we get some really good insight. And it's kind of an educational thing for a lot of people. You still haven't told me a favorite photograph. I don't have a favorite. I'm going to give you a second for, for that. I'm going to come back to you. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and I yeah. love the About a Photograph series. you got to watch it. Deanne and I talked a little bit about it. I think you should start About a Video. About a Video seems really hard because, uh, you know, we only have 90 seconds and videos last so much longer. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. How about a story about hanging out with Joe Montana and his place, having dinner with him, something like that? Because I know you've done some crazy stuff. So back uh, after Joe uh, won the first Super Bowl, um, I was assigned to go over there and shoot a picture of him uh, and his roommate uh, Dwight Clark and his and Dwight Clark's wife uh, Ashley. And uh, I ended up uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do for a portrait. So I stuck a camera inside the refrigerator and had these guys hanging out of the refrigerator and with their heads inside. And we kind of like styled it a little bit and did fired a remote for, you know, this is back in the film days, so we have three or four rolls of film and went back and actually made a picture that uh, everybody liked. And, and then you, won, yeah. You, know, you wound up becoming friends with those guys, right? Yeah, well, absolutely. We uh, we ended up having a good time together. Yeah. What's Joe like? I, I met him uh, twice and he seemed like the greatest guy in the world. Joe's a great guy. Um, he would be the kind of guy where if you showed up at practice um, to photograph something, he would acknowledge that you're there and ask you how you're doing, how your day's going. And what's it like having dinner with Joe Montana in his heyday? Um, it was uh, always, uh, it, it felt like, um, you know, what you would feel like if you were a star, because everybody was looking at you, and, uh, well, not really me, but past me to Joe, so that was uh, part of the fun. I can only imagine, because when I hang out with, you know, some, well, I mean, obviously some guys like Justin Tuck and stuff, I see that firsthand, but in, like, the 80s, in that heyday, I can only imagine, because I see the reaction people give to Daryl Strawberry now when we hang out, and it's unbelievable. So uh, this is the gentleman who has the other white Bronco in the state of California, and you still have it 150,000 miles yeah, later? about 120,000 miles. Yeah, I've got a white Ford Bronco, and I, I love it. It pulls my boat. It's great. I just, you know, we have a good time with it. Awesome. Some Kurt Rogers, a good friend of mine, is joining us here for the Cinegear coverage. I see something floating around that's another world exclusive that we are going to showcase here. And uh, that's going to be coming up later. It's going to be a big surprise. I love this bag, the Roller Derby. Thank you so much for sharing it with my audience, with our audience here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you really enjoyed that one. I got really excited about this. You know, look, Bridge Keyboards is amazing. We've talked about this a lot. And uh, like Think Tank Photo, they're a San Francisco-based company. And Bridge Keyboards is now actually international, right? They were a San Francisco-based company. They started as a Kickstarter. And they did a million, like a million dollars on Kickstarter. And they delivered every single keyboard. And they've just been amazing. And they keep growing and growing. They've got new management now. Nick Smith, you met him through some of the interviews we've done. A lot of exciting things happening, but right now, I love this Bridge Keyboard, and you can go to bridgekeyboards.com, and you can get your very own on a super special Father's Day sale. The one I have is the flagship. It's got Bluetooth speakers, it's aluminum, and it's $99. The other ones are even cheaper, polycarbonate and the metal one without the speakers. I love the speakers. Some people think you don't need them. Either way, bridgekeyboards.com, bridge with a Y. All right, we've got a whole lot more show for you when we come back. I am super excited. We'll be back from Cinegear Live on Be Terrific, presented by Adorama, right after this. Hashtag us at Be Terrific TV stage. They'll show up in this Instacube. We'll be back right after this. I'm Michael Artsis. Keep it logged here.